Happy New Year everyone! In this video I'll show you the ESP8266 toy which I designed a few weeks ago. You've probably already heard about the ESP8266. It's a very uh, low cost and compact Wi-Fi module that has become extremely popular recently. At the basic level it's a serial to Wi-Fi module which allows any microcontroller such as the Arduino to uh, have Wi-Fi capabilities through uh, serial communications. And with some of the recent development, especially since the manufacturer has released the SDK source code, you can actually customize the firmware and perform a lot of computations on the module itself. So the ESP8266 toy, or ESP toy for short, is an Arduino compatible battery powered gadget for easy prototyping with, uh, with this Wi-Fi module. You can use it to make a standalone Wi-Fi enabled project. It has a built-in ATmega644 microcontroller, a USB serial chip and a mini USB port, um, a 3.3 volt linear regulator, a color LED, push button, light sensor, temperature sensor, and lithium battery jack. The Wi-Fi module can be directly plugged in here through this pin header and uh, there are additional analog and digital pins here at the bottom for prototyping. Um, the microcontroller runs at 16 megahertz um, and it comes with the Arduino bootloader. Uh, you can program it directly through the USB port here. Once programmed, it can run on an external uh, lithium battery uh, or a 3 volt AA or AAA battery uh, pack. Uh, there is also a um, power MOSFET on the board, uh, which can be you can use to programmably control the power supplied to the Wi-Fi module. This is useful if you want to power off the module to save battery life. To communicate with the Wi-Fi module, the basic approach is to program the microcontroller to send the so-called AT commands to the module through the serial interface. And you can find plenty of online documents about these commands. So let me show you a few quick demos. The first is a demo that searches for the correct baud rate for the Wi-Fi module. Why do you want to do this? Well, in order to talk to the Wi-Fi module, you need to know the correct baud rate. Often I get confused what baud rate the uh, module came uh, with and some of the newer ones allow you to change the baud rate so it's better to uh, have a way to automatically detect the baud rate. The program is very simple. It basically loops over the common baud rates, sends an empty AT command to the module and uh, checks the result. If the result is recognizable then that must be the correct baud rate. Um, so let's try this. So first I'll plug the ESP uh, Wi-Fi module to the ESP toy and then I plug in a mini USB uh, cable. Now if you've set up the uh, Arduino uh, with the ESP toy library then um, you will see the ESP toy um, as the board and then uh, also the uh, serial port is uh, CH341 uh, USB. And then next you just upload this program to the ESP toy and then um, we will open the serial monitor. So as you can see it found that the correct baud rate for this particular module is uh, 9600. So this is the uh, one of the newer ones that uh, comes with the 9600 baud rate. And then next I can plug in a different one and uh, so let's try this again. And as you can see, it found that the correct baud rate for this one is uh, 115,200. Uh. So the second demo is the serial AT command, which allows you to send the AT commands to the Wi Fi module through a serial monitor. Now, the ATmega644 microcontroller has two serial interfaces. One is wired to the uh, USB serial chip, and the other is dedicated to the Wi-Fi module. 
So this program just basically um, passes the data received from one serial interface to the other and uh, vice versa. So with this demo, you can uh, experiment with all the available AT commands of the module. Let me bring out uh, a serial monitor here. And uh, so by the way, when you're, in, when you're using Arduino's uh, serial monitor, make sure you select the line ending to be both new line and carriage return. Um, this is required by the AT commands. So I can now experiment with the uh, commands like, so for example, AT, AT plus GMR shows the firmware version. AT, so this shows me the uh, current mode of the module. So this shows the uh, IP address of the uh, Wi-Fi module. And uh, yeah. The third demo is called Scan Network. For this demo, I'm going to power the circuit with a lithium battery. And so basically what this program does is when it starts, it sets the Wi-Fi module uh, to AP mode. And uh, it will create a local Wi-Fi network. And once the AP mode is established, the green LED will light up. Uh, and uh, so you can take out your cell phone or a laptop and uh, you can see that there will be a uh, network uh, that's called ESP underscore something. So you can click on this and then connect to this network. Once this is connected, you can then uh, bring out a web browser and type in the IP address 192.168.4.1 and uh, this will bring out a web page which shows all the nearby uh, networks that have been scanned by the Wi-Fi module and then you can then type in the uh, SSID and uh, you can then type in the SSID and uh, the password of your target network and cl click on connect. So at this point, uh, the program will uh, reset the module in um, station mode. Um, so you can see that the LED lights, uh, it turns off. Uh, and then after about 10 seconds, it will show redirect the page and show you um, the uh, IP address of the module on the target network. So it's a pretty standard approach to get your Wi-Fi enabled gadget uh, onto a target network. The next demo is a simple web server. So here the program uh, serves a HTML web page and it uses uh, JSON and AJAX to periodically read back the analog pin values and display them onto the web page. So if you type in the client IP address of the module um, you can see that it shows a web page and it refreshes uh, every few seconds to uh, show you the current value of the analog uh, pins. And because the first two analog pins, um, they are wired to the uh, um, temperature sensor and the uh, light sensor, so they actually respond to light or temperature uh, changes. Also, there are three sliders here, which you can use to set the color of the uh, uh, color LED on the ESP toy. So I can, you know, slide these uh, values, and then you can see that the color on the LED changes accordingly. And again, I'm powering the entire circuit with the lithium batteries. So this can be used as a Wi-Fi enabled color LED light. There is an additional demo which is the same web server but it uses an external SD card uh, connected to the uh, ESP toy um, so that you can uh, use the SD card to serve uh, bigger and multiple HTML web pages. So that's all about the ESP toy. To find out more, please visit the blog uh, post link above and uh, the um, Arduino library and source code of this project um, is available on GitHub. Thanks for watching this video.